everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am Mad Catherine. This is a video on Raid Shadow Legends Cursed City. Take me down to the Candlelight City where the candles are lit and the city is also candles. I don't know. I, I didn't know where I was going with that. Uh, welcome back. We have a video for you, uh, which I think is, is absolutely game changing. And many thanks to, and we'll give credit where it's due in a moment. But as you can see, there's a little little light there. And uh, that is because we have finished Amias. We did it last night. Here's the story. Last night, Amanda and I say our good nights as we normally do every night. We video chat, watch a couple movies. Uh, by the way, Violent Night. Highly recommend. Entertaining, violent, f funny, endearing in some ways. Just a really good Christmas movie. Believe it or not, Violent Night. Uh, I believe it's on on Prime right now. If you're in the United States and Canada, it's on Crave, and uh, I absolutely loved it. So did Amanda. She loved it too, in spite of the fact that she's not a big fan of violence. So that was a was an interesting uh, check mark. Is that she actually did enjoy it, and uh, so I think you guys will too. But. So then I go upstairs and I got to run my keys and stuff. And it takes me a couple minutes to do that. And then, of course, no matter how tired, I'm like falling asleep downstairs. I get up here. I get a little burst of energy. doesn't last long. A little burst of energy. So I run my clan boss keys. And then, I, and then I'm like, I'm going to tackle this son of a gun one more time. And uh, I've got so I've got two monitors, obviously. The second monitor, I usually play some video clips. And uh, so at the same time, I'm up here kind of fooling around. I'm thinking, do I want to fight him again? Oh, I was so angry. I did it all afternoon or all like late morning to early afternoon yesterday and failed miserably. I didn't even watch football. I was just fighting this thing the whole time. Of course, Seahawks play tonight. But uh, then I look over and I see a video being recommended that changed everything for me. And this is not a a for the light of heart video, but uh, or, or or comp, but many thanks to Mullet Reaver, who is one of the most unheralded uh, curators of content in the program for Raid Shadow Legends. You can see he's done things like twenty one billion uh, full auto trunda. He's done a ton of this stuff. He's done a ton of it, and he's you know thank God, uh, but. Uh, his little thing here, Cronum versus a second I saw that. A second I saw Cronum versus Animus, I knew. I knew. Hey, look, odd one's alive. Maybe we'll go visit him after this video. Uh Cronum versus An Amius. Um, uh, I was like, oh my god, he's cracked the code. This is brilliant. This will work. I can do this. And sure enough, um, if we go here, and by the way, I'll pin I'll leave a pinned comment with that video. Go check out that video. Check out Mullet Reaver. Uh his thumbnails are endearing but his content is on point and if you ever want to see end game content that's the guy let's do, let's get this quest we got we got the candles baby 25 more candles let's go sorry uh i get excited about candles i don't know why uh so so here it is here's the team now the team breakdown which he does very well in his video so watch the video but essentially what you're doing is you've got chronum here uh in the lead, of course, giving you the 50 extra accuracy. Mine's a plus four, five star, so it's a little bit ridiculous. But if you have Chronum, it doesn't need to be this. This just makes it easier to build the stats. The stats are what's always been important. Uh, the five star just makes it quicker because he's got a Brimstone that's protected. So that helps get more hits in. We put Brimstone on our Sun Wukong. Those are the two fighters. The rest of these are passengers. Jamarsa, no gear, just there to make sure Chronum revives. And this is just a, my second. Look, it's my backup Veno. It's not, he's not even anything. But uh, we just need a fifth spot there for some passives. And then Lydia's there. Now, she's in gear only because I'm not going to strip her gear just for this. Ultimately, if she was out of gear, that'd be better. But that ain't going to happen. So she's there to block revive in case you kill the boss in the wrong, uh, in the wrong form, right? There's one form where he revives. If you kill him... Uh, in the in the bat in the damage form so this just takes that out of the equation and uh what i'm gonna do we're gonna talk it through at the beginning and then i'm just gonna play it and then we're gonna go through the end and then depending how long this video is i might also do the rest of my keys my eight keys uh, unfortunately yesterday there was a lot of really bad i had bad internet and i don't know everything was just going awful i had to end the stream 
uh, uh, soon. And I didn't get any content of yesterday's keys. So for those of you that were following this, I apologize. So we're going to manual this until we, until these guys die. Now you can, you can auto this, you can manual it if you like, uh, that's up to you. Um, I like getting the extra damage. Also love those protected, uh, buffs, but all we're going to do is we're just going to a one everyone else here. Um, I can't even remember why Sun Wukong, like we need to have auto stuff so we can turn off skills. Cause I don't really want him to use his a two here. Um, we just want to take, get that damage. Now this guy's going to heal all the time. I don't have a way to block that heal, but I'm okay with that. We're okay with that because, uh, this is an auto team. This is just a set it, forget it. It's not a hundred percent, but what it does do is win. <laughs> and so, uh, all you need to do is win it once and then wait till whatever they come up with next week. So as you can see here now, I can actually put it on auto. Now I'm not going to, because I don't want the block buffs to come up at the wrong time. I want this ability to be there in reserve in case I need it. I can't, I don't think there's a case where I will need it. I don't think that any of these other people put up anything that can affect it. But uh, we're still going to run it. We're, so we're going to run it manual here until they give us uh, some slots where we can predetermine stuff here. So I'm going to disappear. We're going to play out the key. Oops. We're going to play out the key. And then we'll come back and talk about it. And there we go. Uh, simple 126 turns, 5 minutes and 40 seconds, easy win. It was all Cronum, right? Sun Wukong was just there. He, I think he put up a couple of the of the brimstones, but it was all Cronum doing his thing. Uh, and this time we didn't have to use Lydia when I originally beat it. I actually beat it. Usually in this, you're probably going to beat it when he's changed to his damage form. Only because he's going to heal himself and you're not going to get enough damage before he switches back to kill him. Uh, in this particular case, we got some really good brimstone pops and so we were able to get him down. But uh, there it is. the e Like, so much stress relief uh, because of this. Now, let's take a look at the stats on the two champions. These are not, uh, these are not for the faint of heart. We'll start with Sun Wukong. Uh, he's just there as fodder. He's the, there as the target. And the skills we, we, we got him to was about 61,000 HP at 2,600 defense, 472 accuracy. Um, I I think in my mind there's a point where we needed that block. The reality is we don't need the block, so we probably wouldn't even need his accuracy that high, which means we could maybe get him some other skills uh, to make him hit even harder or, or the like. 
like for example, some more War Master Pro. I don't know, made them fast. I don't know what would have made it better, uh, but at least this way with the accuracy, I can pretty much take him and use him in mid level arena, I, end game arena. That's not nearly enough accuracy if you want to make him a strip uh, type champion. But hey, just there, just there for what it is. Uh, and we had that War Master proc. Now on Cronum. Uh, we have him. I didn't change his masteries at all. He does have the increases turn meter for each active debuff cast by this champion. Stacks up 10%. Uh, we just want that for the extra turn meter boost. Anytime we can get turn meter to make sure that we have that four turn cooldown. The key of this, of course, is if Jamarsh is on the same team, revives this champion with 50% HP and turn meter when killed on a four turn cooldown. So that's the big deal, and that's why we bring Jamarsa into it. As far as his, as far as his actual ability, his thing here. Uh, this is where it gets a little bit, a little bit of, like it's it's not easy to do this. Now, uh, I believe the accuracy I was looking for was 450, uh, so that with his accuracy aura, it would bring him to 500. I think you actually need four, it's either 475 or it's between 475 and 500. I can't remember the exact number, but this just gave me 491. Um, plus, he gets the aura, so he's well over 500, so he's going to land that HP burn. Uh, 80 K HP. We want him to be survivable. That gives him tons of survivability. 3,100 defense. The best part, look at 310 speed. The best part about this is his ice golem team. I only needed to change one thing and he has a resist banner that I changed to accuracy. Okay. And I have a really nice HP banner with accuracy substat. but this is the only thing I had to change is normally he's in, uh, he's in a, uh, resist this banner here, which is a phenomenal resist with a double defense and speed, like probably the best banner on my on my account, to be honest with you. But uh, normally he wears that resist one if I'm using him in the ice golem. But for this, uh, we just switched it to accuracy to get him that extra accuracy that we needed, and uh, worked like a charm. He's in regen gear, of course, uh, with speed, so we can get those speeds as high as possible. And uh, yeah, very very easy comp as you saw. So. With that said, why don't we go through uh, what I'll do in this video, and then maybe I'll... Gosh, I don't even know what to do. So, th we, we beat these bosses here. Uh, this boss here was... This is pretty much just my team with a few other standouts. Uh, <clears throat> of course... <clears throat> excuse me. Warlord being by far my fastest. As soon as he got into there, he, of course, uh, you know, shut everyone out, the shadow team out took turn meters, and then Biggin and, and Baron could just click kill them. I threw in <laughs> I threw in Rohan, why not? And Sathalia has turn meter control as well. So that's all we did there. She's also got some heals that helps out. Rohan actually dies halfway through the butt fight, but it was a pretty easy win overall for me. This one here, a little more interesting. Uh, I did this on stream for those of you who remember. It was a little frustrating because I couldn't find enough hits. As it turns out, Fodbor was the king there. I can't rerun this because I've stolen a lot of his gears back since then. But we had uh, Martyrs, actually my Eternal Dragon's main uh, counter because I put her high enough resist that she can actually uh, not get locked out. And then she puts up counters. And then I use, of course... Uh, Cupid, I usually use Cupidus with Venus in the Eternal Dragon so that every time there's a shot, he, he'll counter, and that's how I beat the Eternal Dragon. It's basically Martyr, uh, Venus, and Cupidus to the rescue. We threw in, of course, uh, some some strong DPS, Gnut, anytime you can, and then Molly there just for some turn meter and revive if we needed it. And this worked really well. Uh, it took a few hits to bring down the, 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 the Fire Knight, uh, who I believe is at 12 shield or is he 15 shield? But uh, it wasn't too, too bad because we had the counter attack. So this one, once we kind of cracked the code, many thanks to whoever said, hey, Fodbor's got the, the the triple hitter A1. That was the big difference was his triple hitter A1 because then we have two triple hitters, we have a nuker, and then we have Martyr with the with the counter attack to make that work. So that was that boss. And then the final boss, uh, which this one was a bit of a toughie, but again, Blood Shield accessories on all these champions made it a lot easier. This is my third uh, Royal Guard, which I don't use anymore. I put him in a Destroy set, and they all have Blood Shield accessories. Of course, I've broken them all. Next Hydra run, I'm going to have to fix them all. But that's fine. And then uh, our, our attack was just to make sure that we could easily dispatch of the of the standard uh, Skvag or whatever. Skvag? 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 
Skvag. Skvag. I'm sorry to the Nordic people who have just butchered the name. Uh, and and so this one wasn't. This one was pretty easy. Uh, this was easier than the solo scarab, only because I had better champions up against. But it was all about the blood shield accessories that made that happen. So let's continue on now. Uh, hopefully this won't be too long a video. But honestly, uh, if it is, uh, would you be surprised? And the answer is, I hope, is going to be no, because that's how I roll. Uh, let's okay. So let's uh, let's get this done. There's no music. Uh, I'll have to add music to post for that last video, but let's get some music in here. Let's get some Christmas music. Come on, guys. I know you're not big fans of Christmas music, but we're getting near near the end. We're getting it's almost there. Let's listen to some Jordan Sparks. Make sure it's not too loud for you guys. Yeah, that'll be fine. Yeah, there we go. Jingle bells. Bah humbugs. Ooh, wait a minute. I feel like I just want to do this. <laughs> yeah. I was like lots of lots of bombs, lots of poison bombs. I stole gear from just about everyone. So if I try to run any of my hard level content, pretty sure I they will all fail. Every single one of them will fail. Because I've messed with every piece of content in order to work this cursed tower, which is the only—that's the only thing that I'm not too happy with, to be honest with you—is uh, the fact that we that they still charge us for gear. I'm down 70 million silver, 80 million silver on an account I don't farm anymore. So I'm I'm gonna have to take all spider energy, just throw it into the spider. I hope there's one more spider for Yuletide because I haven't gotten the uh, the Tormund yet. <clears throat> So I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit worried about that. Not gonna lie. Um, oh my god! Look at all the debuffs. Oh, he's got to block damage. You, you can't even see that. Oh my god! Don't take away his turn meter. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, block damage is the single most idiotic thing I've watched the AI deal with. Oh, he's got block damage. Let's hit all our best abilities against him, shall we? Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, please be. I don't think I have this guy. Why is he still not taking a turn? Oh, because Gnut. I have to use Gnut's ability or else he'll take turn meter. Okay, doesn't matter now. There we go. Oh my god. And they do it on purpose. It's just, There was no doubt what was going to happen in this fight. And yet, All right, there we go. Ooh, we got more candles. We got more candles. Okay, boss fight. So that is the upgraded. So the upgraded requires nukes. So I think these three will get in there. Uh, the spiderlings. I think we can nuke the spiderlings too because it's the base one. Uh, maybe we bring in... Some nuking damage. I wish I had Pinthroy. I just got him, so. Well, he's got gear on right now. Yeah, there we go. Alright, this shouldn't be too difficult, but you never know. 
Oh, it's the wrong spiderling. I wish I was able to use my, oh, 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 maybe I got a little bit too, uh, I was thinking of bringing in Valkyrie too. I thought, yeah, I should bring in Valkyrie. <clears throat> Like, I don't think this guy, I forgot, it was the wrong spider. I was thinking it was the base spider. So this might not be as impactful. We might have to switch teams up <coughs> because of the... We'll see if we can beat it with just these two. Like, I'm thinking I need some kind of heals. <coughs> Yeah, I'm dead. Okay. Uh, wrong spider. So, Sun Wukong was kind of nice in there, though. Uh, I think we can just bring in Valkyrie. She'll soak up a ton of those. It'll slow it down, but the other option is maybe a Steel Skull. Maybe Wode Painted. The problem with Wode Painted is she's going to take the same damage and she only heals by the way she was broken in the main boss against amius so she's supposed to heal 50 percent of her surplus heal so if she has one percent health loss on 100k that means she's got 99k so she should be healing for 49.9 or whatever right thousand health to each of her allies and i had her at a sliver less than full health i healed her and it must have calculated it as i had full health because I got zero heals on the rest of my team. And then I died. And I was about three quarters of the way through. That was the moment I had a mini meltdown. Um, but is what it is. Whatever. Okay. Yeah, these shields will be very nice. Uh, I'm not going to put up her shield just yet. Because, oh, I don't have the, I'm actually going to do this first. Actually, kinda want, I kind of want Monkey King here. Because he could have dealt with the spiders. That was a mistake on my part. Oh, well, the counterattacks took care of him nicely. Now let's see if we can out-survive. Well, not if she dies. Holy crap, she died quickly. I think I'll be able to get him here. Oh, so close. Oh, yeah. I got him with a got him with a thing. That's good. Ooh, 18 of those. Uh, again, still haven't looked at this. I'll probably on the very last video, I'll probably look at all the gear. So that's good. That's a good finish. Uh, now we got to get over to here. I think we just take this route, right? Uh, ooh. Okay, good. I have some. Uh... I don't suspect it'd be that tough, but uh, 
My meeting's been canceled, by the way. Oh, getting up early to do these videos. I might actually record the videos at night for the next morning uh, during daylight savings because I kind of have a window where Amanda's still at work. I'm not. It might be a good time to do that. In the summer, it makes sense to be do it first. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, and by the way, the free-to-play is still going on, still playing the free-to-play. I know you haven't seen a lot of updates because of this thing. I, I, I want to get out the videos daily so you guys can get them while you're still kind of playing them. You know what I mean? But uh, do not fear. <laughs> I will get those. Uh, I will get back to the free-to-play grind. Uh, if not before then, then in the new year. Um, this is the first kick of the cat here for this. Um, I suspect I'll probably just do a video, a recap video of bosses. So we'll probably do f next month. We'll probably just do five videos. We'll do the main boss and the th and the four four zones bosses that we can compete on. I might do the whole because I have a feeling that top area is going to be very tough, and I may not get through it all. So I might do all rooms of that in a video. But it'll be a, a it won't be a video every single day like it is right now. So uh, by the way, I love this. Some people don't need these, the rank and rarity charms. I need them, and the amount, the sheer amount that they're giving, it feels is the. I've never received that many from a place before. We also have enough to to pull one of these new shards or whatever. So we're gonna do that. Uh, just F Y I. Um, this is a very small. It's very small. What? Oh, HP, I mean, I don't know which of them is on gear. I know that I know that my Linithral, I use them in my clan boss, so that'll be good. And I'm the other ones I, I've geared recently, so we'll see how this. Oh God, where do they have a healer? Yeah, well he he didn't have gear. He does, so that's. How did this suddenly get so difficult? <clears throat> 190, hey? What do you got? I think Necmo's got to go first. No! Die. Oh, it's from... Uh... Oh, God. I... I love when old champions have these skills that suddenly you're like, oh, my God. That's ridiculous. It's uh, it's what's his name? The the ally protect. Every time you hit with a, I think is it a crit or whatever it is, I don't need ally protect here. Uh, he puts up uh, he puts up a a heal. This guy's got kind of a neat kit. He he's got a two turn veil, which is nice. Uh, he puts up a counter and a strengthen on himself. His A one's a little underwhelming. I think that's the the only thing I would I would complain about. Oh, come on! God, why are you so slow? This is round one. I hate these HP ones. It's always the HP ones. By the way, and Deliana is not in gear. This is just the first round. Oh, my God. I mean, I don't think they can even kill. Let's keep going. You, did we see a reviver in the group? That would probably have been a good idea. Oh, he's the only one. He's not locked out. Kill him. To like kill him. Is aren't half of these things like a percentage chance? I like how uh, Shamrock's just killing it with the buffs. There we go. Uh. Kill right. No, kill right. There we go. I 
I don't even know who that is, but kill him. He seems shady. Well, actually, just kill him. Just kill. That's, um. Uh, fusion. God, why can't I remember anyone's name this morning? Anyway, there we go. 15 more. Never in doubt. Never in doubt. Here we go. Oh, God. This one. This one's going to be a little bit scary. So it's the bigger boss. We have Cronum. Oh, look at that. We have his hard counter here. Do I get to bring in Jamarsa, too? Yes. <laughs> should we just do, should we just do this? Um, I feel like Sishia would be fun in this. <laughs> I feel like uh, let's bring in a turn meter. Ah, eh, why not? I feel like I don't need that much. I don't want to do an auto though, because I want I want to I want to make decisions. So we put up the HP burn, sleep them. Not that that matters. We'll use our protection. Pop it. And then we'll reset. I feel like I didn't need to. Did we, we must have circum, we must have done perfect damage to circumvent his, uh, we're so much faster than this boss because <laughs> of the speeds on the, our dude here. He's just teeing off here. Let me do 12 turns to your one and another turn and then a reset and then another turn. Oh my god. They almost die. The ads die too quickly, you know what I mean? There we go. That was pretty easy. That was ooh, a couple chaos ores. Very nice. All right, so that is all the bosses of this area. You know what that means? It's coming. How many keys? We got three? Oh, uh, prepare to see me melt down. All right, let's do it. Okay. This is going to be... <sighs> this is going to be interesting. I'm trying to think of who I actually have gear on right now. Not him. I know who doesn't have gear right now. Is that Quintus or is that someone else? Double Staltus. Wow. save it we'll save it we'll save it sweet all right Ooh. thank god for lockouts hey I'm not sure if she has, she must have some gear, but she's probably pretty thin on the gears. Cause she's hitting pretty hard. Like she's not, she's not throwing punches. I'll tell you that much. If this, if I do fail on this one, we'll just, we'll improve her because I think the amount of damage she's doing 
is pretty good. And then she hits for nothing there. Okay. These are these are pretty this is not a walk in the park. This is not a cakewalk uh, encounter, I think. Oh that was wrong. Oh well. She's gonna die this time, I think. Let's get Ally Protect up. Uh Karato. Oh god. Oh my god. They've got a Karato and a Yumiko. Would you leave her alone? Oh, there's two Karatos. Uh-oh. Extra turn. Extra turn. Damn it. I just got how many buffs up right now, anyway. Well, I was a, this was not, it was not a, it's at least, <laughs> these stages are not easy, which is good. Now, oh my God, let's see what they give me. Oh my God. How am I even going to beat this guy? HP support. No, there is no denying. I am as lucky I'm, as can be. I'm at a loss. I can't even remember which one of these is the... Okay. Like, how? where's the damage coming from? I don't know if I can beat this. I don't know where I'm getting the damage. Maybe someone like uh, Gonjar here or... I think Gronjar. I think we're bringing him in. By the way, hurrah to Plarium. Credit where credit's due. When you have the filters and then you come to this and the filters are still applied. Can you do that everywhere, please? Because I think that's, a, that's such a win. Uh, what's he based? His, is he HP based? Okay. He wouldn't have masteries. That's okay. Uh, HP based, so a little double HP here. We're gonna we're gonna build him for damage. I don't. I've never really. I've kind of played around. I don't think this guy has crazy damage, but he also needs to land. Oh yeah, but crazy damage might be a bad thing. We need accuracy though. That's got a better chance for some HP rolls. Look at this, 30 million. Oh, triple speed. And an HP. Oh, hey. Of course it is, because we deserve it, dang it. Uh, but we're going to try him. We're going to try and say, I mean, this might be a case of this is not the right way to go with us this boss, but I don't know what else. Oh, slim pickings, too. No HP. We'll have to go. We'll have to go with crit rate gloves, and we'll just try to maximize our crit damage here. Move. Okay, we're going to go with primary stats, HP crit rate, on perception, because I don't know what I need. Ooh, that's actually a pretty saucy one. There we go. I don't even know about the rest of these. I think Brogny's missing gear now, too, but... Okay, attacks all enemies, 
75% chance of placing the HP burn. We hit. Hmm. <laughs> we kit. We kit. I'm gonna have to check my Brogni because I can. I I had a full damage Brogni when when we had that uh, weak hit. We hit. Is that always a thing? Is that a thing with this boss? Is if you're Weak affinity, you always weak hit. Because that's the case, we'll move it, we'll get rid of him and we'll put someone else in. Like, oh, he actually didn't. That's just that was just my my luck. That was just my pure luck to weak hit 118 times. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> All right. Oh, God. I might have to pick someone else here. I need someone who can actually do damage. I don't think we'll ever die. Can we just put it in auto and see what happens? <clears throat> hey, there's an HP burn. Wait a minute. Is Geomancer not HP based? Is he attack? I'm looking at dwarfs here. Hold on. No. I think Yotan would be better than him, though, because of the affinity. Why is Yotan in the... Re He's been relegated. He doesn't even have a partner. He's just been relegated to the, to the miners. What? Poor Yotan. Oh, she's yeah, he's full. That's my main dude. Oh, poor guy. He's got Helm Smasher for some reason. Whatever. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my god. All right, let's put in. Uh, let's just steal that. See, this is where all the silver goes. Um. Oh, we can't. We, wrong gear. Wrong person to steal. But okay, well, sure. I don't. He can do a bit of damage, so maybe we want crit damage. Oh, that's kind of neat. If we have a crit damage neck, there we go. Uh. Hmm. Do we have an accuracy? I don't want to roll any more gear. Please don't make me roll more gear. And then we're just going to put him in that. We're just going to steal Gronjar's gear. Let's see how that goes. I feel like this, is, this boss seems, knock on wood, easier than the actual boss. So that's good. This is where we need to be able to filter out. So, like, we need gear swap. Okay. We need gear to stop being money to change gear. That just needs to be a thing forever. With the, the advent of Cursed City, we just need that. Like, I can't... I can't keep doing that. I don't have this, the silver for it. And if I don't have the silver for it, I can't possibly imagine how anyone else has a silver for it other than late like obviously obviously uh there's whales have way more silver than i do but like for the uh, for the average joe for the the joe population it seems unnecessary it seems to be a, a relic 
Because those who have the silver just have the silver, and nothing you do is going to change it. Those who don't have the silver just don't have the silver. See how this shakes. I think we'll we'll be able to beat this boss actually. I mean, I hate to be too optimistic, but I do have a revive as well. So when those when those stacks get a bit rough, we might still be able to shrug it off. Like, what would really be nice is if we got some brimstone. I think that would be... <clears throat> but I don't think anyone... I, I think my I could put brimstone on Molly. But... For one battle? Eh. We're, we're coming along here. I think the good thing about Yotan is he has multiple ways to drop his HP burn, doesn't he? I feel like he does. I feel like he has two HP burn abilities. So even though he's losing his HP burn, he's just putting it back on after the cleanse. So it's certainly, it's no Geomancer style, but... And the only one taking damage is Ursiga because she's tanking. Uh, she also has Guardian gear, if she's fully geared, which is a 50-50 prospect at this point. She seems to have lots of HP, so maybe we do. Uh, but we'll see how this goes. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't tell you guys how absolutely losing my mind I was at Amius. I just, because he was doing different things. Like, I, I fulfilled all the requirements for the pattern. Because you can kind of, you can kind of force him into doing certain things. And then it just wasn't. Then it just wasn't. I was forcing him into something, and then I wasn't. And it was so frustrating. Um... So, uh, you know, whatever. It's, uh, it is what it is, as they say. So, we were able to get it done. Thank you, Mullet Reaver. You're now on my Christmas list. If I sent Christmas cards to you guys, he'd be number one on the list. Oh, she's actually, uh, taking some, we're taking some heat on, uh, some of my champions now. As long as they don't both die at the same time. Oh, she got the big heals, so that's good. There, oh, there we go. They're right back. <clears throat> but that's a lot of stacks. Like that's why they're taking the hit. Yeah. It resets the stacks, so. And Molly has high resistance, so I don't think it even matters. Oh, oh, I thought he died. Never mind. Oh, don't kill. Okay, I have to. We have to assume control here. We don't want to lose this at the very end. I just want to make sure Molly revives him and not her. If you got the HP bird, no, of course not. We want him up. There we go. Is that have the HP bird? No. Boom. All right. Well, hey, our first our first soul cross win, everybody. Our first boss down. So that's good. So that opens up. The next one will be uh, Sand Devil. 
But uh, pretty hype about that. Oh, finally get to use my six star. That's nice. That'll be four shits and giggles. Uh, sure. All right. Well, feeling good about that one, everyone. Uh, let's wrap this video up with an easy win. No. No. Instead, we're going to have uh, Mr. Counter here. Yeah, couldn't get frozen either. No, yeah, yeah, we're going to lose this in one foul swoop. Good. Good, yeah, no, perfect. Shit. Couldn't be that easy. Okay, well, screw you guys. Um, This is why we can't have nice things. Hmm. That got rid of Leorius. That was a big deal. <laughs> that, uh, that worked a lot better than the last iteration. Is there one that attacks all enemies? No. Whatever. Give me extra turn. Oh, you just have to ask, apparently. Assuming control. Don't want to fight her. Just take away some turn meter. Oh, and some extra turn. That was nice. That was, as they say, fortuitous. All right. So there we go. Uh, well, this was probably the most success uh, video, successful video. We were able to vanquish the the duo here of the the Doom Tower spider, which I incorrectly thought was the other spider, my bad, and the upgraded dragon and the upgraded uh, ice golem, and we were able to kill the iron twins. Um, so that's good. Now we're gonna march our way on to the sand dune, and the this one looks scary to me. This one looks scary, but we'll figure it out. Uh, so thank you all. Uh, we'll be we'll do this again tomorrow. How about the, how about we do this again tomorrow? I gotta see how many days left we got of this thing. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. So two more days, and we can potentially at least fight them all. I don't know if we can beat them, but we'll fight them. So let's end this video off with a bang. We have one shard, uh, or whatever it's called. I don't even know what they're called anymore. <clears throat> oh, wait. <clears throat> Excuse me. Why? What? I forgot. We got more candles. How can we forget? We finished more quests for more candles. Do we get anything else? No. Oh, it's anticlimactic. Okay. Let's open this up. Let's end the video with the bang. We have a remnant summon. So we can get an epic. Avoid epic or mythical. Here it is. Boom! It's an epic. It's woad painted. Boy, that was anticlimactic. That was very anticlimactic. But whatever is what it is. Uh, thank you for watching. I appreciate you. We'll see you in the next videos. But in the meantime, be safe, be kind. I guess I did that backwards. We'll see you in the next video, but in the meantime, be safe and be kind. That's how we're going to end it. Thanks a lot. Take care.